<clears throat> Good clean drinking water, essential to our survival, right? Hi, I'm Janet Zapala. Welcome to Good Food Matters. Today we are talking all about hydration and how important good clean water is and also fruits and vegetables that have a lot of good water content in them, including watercress, watermelon, leafy greens like lettuce, tomatoes, apples if you want a snack to hydrate, bell peppers, cucumbers, obviously celery is made up mostly of water delicious treats that are going to serve you well when it comes to your health. So today, in keeping with all of this, I'll be making a delicious cucumber and tomato salad with a nice vinaigrette, a tzatziki sauce with, yeah, cucumber, and of course, a nice yogurt infused with garlic and olive oil and fresh herbs like mint. Doesn't that sound delicious? I've got these great recipes coming up, but first, I also have a special guest on board today here on Good Food Matters. He's all about Drink good, clean, healthy water. It'll keep you going for years. All right, let's go to him and find out more. Roger Rignac from Life Source Water. Obviously, we do have to drink really good, clean water every single day because we can't survive without clean water. Tell the folks why Life Source is so important for people to know about when it comes to healthy drinking water. Well, the fact is we get out the contaminants like the chlorine and chloramines, pesticides, herbicides, sediment, and things of that nature. So you can drink water from every spout in the house your showers, laundry, dishwasher, coffee, tea, cooking, everything, because we leave the healthy minerals. And you should get up to 20% of your daily mineral intake from the water that you drink, and you'll get that virtually from every tap. So you don't need bottled water. Tell us about this whole house water filtering system, exactly how it works. So basically, it works off the main line. Every house has a main shutoff that shuts off the water for the entire home. So when we come out, we preview what size, the location, because that's where our installers will come in, we'll cut the main line, we run copper, we run it through our tanks, and we run it right back into the home, so that feeds, so by the time it leaves our system, it feeds the house, and you have good, clean, filtered water everywhere, and you don't need anything. You don't even need a refrigerator filter. Uh, full transparency, I've had Life Source water for over two years, and I've noticed a, a tremendous difference mm. in my skin. Everybody says your skin is glowy. I think part of it is due to Life no question. Source. No also, question. you know, what we put in our bodies is a big part of that. Mm. But it's also really easy for me, because before I used to have to take bottled water to wash all my fruits and vegetables and all of that. Now it comes right out of my faucet, super easy. You don't use as much water either. I would imagine Correct. that's a big plus. Correct. You yeah. use a lot less and you a lot less soap too. You need 50 to 75% less soap in your showers, in your dishwasher, in your laundry because the water is so clean coming in, you don't need a whole lot. People have different living situations. Some people mm -hmm. are in an apartment. They're obviously not going to get a whole big water filtering system. That's not what they own. They don't want to make that investment. Mm -hmm. But you can do something a lot less for them to accommodate. Absolutely. And we can also do the whole building. And no salt. We don't use any salt. By the way, I know the late Alex Trebek uh, was a yeah. big fan. Of course, we, we were big fans of his, but he was a big fan of Life Source, and he tremendous, also installed some. Tremendous, <laughs> tremendous fan and supporter of Life Source Water and loved installing the systems yeah, with I us. Believe he that. would come out with his toolkit and, his, and he would cut pipe with us and solder. And and we would go, Alex, we got this. Don't worry about it. But he's like, and his wife actually said, oh, he would he would do this. If he could do this all day, he would do this instead of Jeopardy. God bless him. Wow. He, he loved doing it. He yeah. loved installing with us. Great guy. That, just, you would never expect somebody like Alex Trebek to be doing, to I get know. down and dirty doing that. And he loved it. He's with our guys, cutting pipe and sawing. Wow. He's right there with us. The question is, how did he learn how to do that? I don't know. In another life. <laughs> I don't know, but he, had, he, he was pretty good at it. Oh, we miss him. We miss oh, him. Oh, God, yeah. All right, let's head out to the tanks and we can show the folks what those are all about. Awesome. Yeah. And this is the one that's for hard water. Okay, so this right. removes all that scale buildup. This is this is what is designed to attack that scale that's in the house. So your water heater lasts longer, your fixtures, your appliances, all that lasts a lot longer. No muss, no fuss kind of thing, so easy. I don't even think about it because it's got a mind of its own. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it runs itself. Because you have to tell folks about Life Source, where they can reach you, how they can get more information. The best way and the easiest way is go to lifesourcewater.com. That's our website. Has plenty of information, a lot of videos. Great. And make sure when you contact us, ask for me, Roger Rignac. 
I'll be happy to come out to your house, mm. do a quick preview, it takes like 10 minutes, free estimate, and you'll have the best system on the planet. I'll drink to that, cheers, <laughs> all right. And thank you again, Roger, he's all about the facts, right? And speaking of facts, I'm gonna give you some factual information about how to make tzatziki sauce, one of my favorites. I love it with pita bread just alone, or maybe use it with vegetables as a dip. Today we're making it as a topping for my lamb burger, which is coming up shortly. As you know, it's pretty much made up of yogurt and cucumber. Basically, you can use just a simple shredder like this, and this is kind of the grating size, because again, it's about shredding. You want to also peel your cucumber, not totally, you have a little green left. This is organic, so you don't have to worry about it. And you can just see how much water is in this cucumber. So just squeeze the excess moisture out and look at all that moisture, all that water. Throw it in the bowl. We'll move this out of the way because I want to add about a half a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil goes in. Some fresh mint, I love it. I mean, just the smell of mint is so pleasurable. It's kind of intoxicating. So I chopped up some fresh mint, a little spritz of lemon, yes, like this, so you don't get any seeds in it. Just a little trick, so you just got a seed right there, but it didn't go into the sauce little spritz of lemon. We've got some salt and pepper, of course, to season. Grab some pita bread and just stuff it or dip it, whatever it is that you like. And I'd say you've got a real treat on your hands. It's good for you. Again, this is non-fat Greek yogurt, fresh organic cucumbers, extra virgin olive oil, some lemon juice, a little bit of garlic, which by the way, oh, I almost forgot the garlic. Hang on a second here because that is super important for this recipe. You have to have a little bit of my herbal wonder drug, as I like to call it, just like that. And now we've got all of our ingredients in here. And you can see again how easy that was. And you can smell all the fresh ingredients. Oh my goodness. Let's, let's do a taste test. My goodness, that is fabulous. It's creamy, but in a good way. It's light and creamy and absolutely mm, mm, scrumptious. All right, tzatziki sauce is sort of marinating in the fridge, and we are now going to embark on this delicious cucumber tomato salad. It's all fresh ingredients. I'm chopping up some Flat leaf Italian parsley to go in there. So we've got some fresh herbs. You can use either parsley. You could use the curly kind too if you don't have the flat leaf. Also, I use some dried Italian herbs too. So you wanna just take a few in your hand like this and then make sure you squeeze because you're getting all the important nutritious essential oils out that way and more taste. So we've got that. I always eyeball the olive oil. I'm going with about a little less than a third of a cup we'll start with. Go easy, you can always add more. It's like when you're getting your hair cut. If you cut too much off, you can't put it back. So just take it in stages. <laughs> I do that with everything. And a splash of red wine vinegar, just like that. A little bit of salt and pepper. I mean, pretty much nothing is as good as it can be without your salt and pepper. So there you go. And that's it, folks. As easy as anything you can possibly do in life is making this delicious Italian-inspired tomato and cucumber salad. Again, with the fresh parsley. You've got so many nutrients in here. And you've got a lot of hydration. As I said earlier, with the tomatoes and the cucumbers, you're going to do your body a really big favor. So we've got the salad, we've got the tzatziki sauce, as I said, in the fridge, and now it's all about the lamb burger. Uh, I have to tell you, lamb burgers really are one of my favorites. If you like the taste of lamb, this lamb burger is something you're absolutely gonna eat up. Would you like it? 
All right, let me show you how to make it and then you will be able to enjoy it. It's super easy. You take about a pound of ground lamb. Now what I've already done is added about a half a cup of crumpled feta cheese, of course, some freshly chopped mint and freshly chopped Italian flat leaf parsley. We've got some salt and pepper and that's all you need. That's how easy it is. And then you just form them like this. You take about a handful of meat and with a pound you can make four good sized burgers. And then you throw them on the, well you can make them on the grill. They come out great there. But you can also make them in an iron skillet or a regular frying pan as I've done here. And they come out looking just like this. So let me show you what else will go great with this. You already know top with the tzatziki sauce, homemade, and then that delicious tomato and cucumber salad to go along with the burger. And I'm telling you, you will be in heaven. <laughs> When you're cooking, you need energy, especially if you're cooking a big meal for a lot of people, or even if you're cooking every night, you need to focus, you need that stamina. And again, the water, you need to be hydrated. Water protects our organs and our tissues. It lubricates the joints. It flushes out bad waste products. It just keeps us super healthy, helps us live. So again, Make sure you're drinking really good, healthy water for yourself. Now, as far as the food goes, these lamb burgers, as you saw, super easy and quick to make. They're topped with my homemade tzatziki sauce. And then if you'd like, you can always put a nice piece of lettuce on top. Get your leafy greens and your hydration. And then of course, you have to have this cucumber, tomato, and I also added some red onion. Some people don't care for the onion, you don't have to have it, but I added it in because I happen to love the red onion. So there you go, a delicious, nutritious meal that I think everybody's going to love, unless you don't eat meat. Then how about a salmon burger, anybody? I'll make those next time. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining me. I won't be able to say too much more because I'm gonna dig in, but I'll have the recipes on my website, janetzapala.com. This is Good Food Matters. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.